Hi, we are from Mercy Vocational High School in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Our team has been part of the Philadelphia Archdiocesan PLP for the past three years. We have Ninged and Wikied. We are growing our PLN and we are imparting our knowledge on our students and faculty. Today you will learn how Web 2.0 tools are being used in vocational education. Our mission is to prepare our students for the workforce. We are not a college prep school. We prepare carpenters, certified nursing assistants, business, cosmetologists, and the like. I'd like to say we provide a non-traditional path to college. It's obvious our students need good tech skills in today's work environment. They need to be responsible digital citizens. Along with their academic shops, each student at Mercy Vocational High School will receive a four-year high school diploma. As you see, their academic classes cover the core academics as they would receive in any archdiocese and or public high school across the Philadelphia area. Next year, we will incorporate the use of netbooks in each academic class. We believe that this will help us provide each student at Mercy with a one-to-one -one learning environment as they can go at their own pace and be assessed at their own level. The thought for, of students going to one-to-one -to -one technologies was widely accepted at Mercy, but the teachers would take a little bit more convincing. So we set up a program to try to assess what the teachers knew and introduce Web 2.0 tools, and then also do some research to understand the implementation of one-to-one -one classrooms. To create some teacher buy-in, we created a survey in 2010, and that survey was just asking questions as to what teachers already understood about the web, Web 2.0 tools, the use of netbooks, and one-to-one -one classrooms. And in the midst of doing all of this, we were researching one-to-one -one classrooms to see what were the advantages and disadvantages of implementing such a system. Our hope was to create some sort of teacher acceptance and in the end create some teacher enthusiasm. With any new program, you have to take into consideration the time and energy requirements. Teachers understood this and through the course of time went through a, a variety of emotions from stun paralysis to anger and rage as to why the program was being implemented, depression that they just couldn't get it fast enough, until eventually we reached some sort of acceptance amongst the faculty at Mercy Vocational High School. At first many teachers probably thought to do this with the netbook, but over time teachers began to teach each other and to gain some acceptance and eventually some enthusiasm about the implementation of one-to-one -one technologies at Mercy Vocational High School. In addition to their high school diploma, students at Mercy receive training and certification in one of the many vocational academies offered at Mercy. Carpentry, electricity, computer IT technology, nursing assistant, culinary arts, business and cosmetology are the, sh are the shops that are available to all students at MVHS. The vocational academies are extremely useful when preparing for a one-to-one -one school environment. The students work within their trades to help choose the hardware, run wiring, train faculty and students, repair the netbooks, install access points, and even administer to the network when we encounter problems. With the help of the vocational academies, the school is able to save money in both the rollout and upkeep of our one-to-one -one environment. The students get an equal amount from this as well. Project-based learning is very important to our school, and the students are able to get unrivaled career-specific experience in maintaining a school-wide wireless network. Utilizing our one-to-one -one environment, the vocational academies are able to gain valuable experience in industry standard technology. Teachers keep up to date with these technologies and help the students become familiar with them as well. From 3D CAD programs to Google Body to Linux operating systems, our students are able to learn and explore what their industry is expecting them to know. We have many activities here at Mercy and I have to recognize our girls basketball team for being double champions this year. We have lots of other activities including Salsa Club, Media Club, Diversity, and Date Club, and we recently became recognized as a no place for hate school. 
Our biggest challenge is when our computer tech students and business students team up to design and build a computer and then raffle it off to raise money for our Operation Katrina, in which 20 students and teachers travel to Mississippi to rebuild homes to help victims of Hurricane Katrina. In order to collaborate for that project, we use Google Docs and Facebook as social networking tools. Our wiki was used to post videos and experiences that we had while we were in Mississippi. We used it also to connect with people back home and it was a great tool to be able to connect with teachers and parents who wanted to know exactly what we were doing. We used some great tools like Google Docs and Emoto to be able to share best practices within our faculty. And then we also use Emoto it's a great way if you have some websites or you have links that you'd like to share with in your department or even with your students or even just to sign up for a simple bake sale. So let's wrap this up. We incorporate tech everywhere in academics and the vocational areas. Our students graduate with marketable skills and are tech able. They are able to earn internet computing and course certification as well as Microsoft Office certification. We are teaching them about having a good online presence. We don't want to shock grandma when she Googles her grandchild. Oh, and that non-traditional path to college? One Mercy grad worked as a janitor at University of Penn after graduating from Mercy. He took advantage of free courses and now has a degree from there. Another student did the traditional path. He continued all the way to a doctoral program, recently took a break, and is now working the legal department at Google. Our students recently Skyped with him.